Now, there are other averages that are commonly used in applications. One important type is called the root mean square average, otherwise known as the L2 average. This is a weighted square average. If I've got a function f on some region r in Rn, then the root mean square average is the square root of the average of the square of the function. So first you square f. Then you average that in the normal way, and then you take the square root. That, in the end, is the root mean square. It's often used to measure a, a variance of a function, and sometimes it's a little bit easier to compute than the standard average. Let's take a look at a simple example where we're doing a root mean square average over a high dimensional region. Let's say we want to know the root mean square distance to the origin on the unit cube in Rn. So I've got a cube in n-dimensional space, side length is equal to 1. Let's specify exactly that each coordinate xi ranges from 0 to 1. Now, to compute the root mean square distance, first I take the distance squared. That is x1 squared plus x2 squared all the way up through xn squared. And then I take the average of that distance squared function. That is going to be, according to our formula, the integral of d squared divided by the integral of 1. Now that integral down on the bottom is, is really simple, right? It's just the n-dimensional volume of the unit n-dimensional cube. That's equal to 1. So in the end, this breaks down into just the numerator integral, the integral of x1 squared plus x2 squared plus dot 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 plus xn squared as each xi goes from 0 to 1. Now, the integral is linear. We can break this up and just do it piece by piece. And inducting, we get 1 third plus 1 third plus 1 third. And how many of those 1 thirds do we have? Well, we have n of them. And that is going to be the average square distance. To get the root mean square average, we take the square root of this result. And that's it. That's our answer. That's square root of n over 3. Now, that's kind of interesting. So, for example, in dimension 3, what does that root mean square equal to? Well, that's, that's just equal to 1. What does it look like in higher dimensions? Well, that's also kind of interesting. But here's the thing. It's not so bad to compute this. This was a relatively simple integral. It's not so simple if you want to compute the average of the distance as opposed to the root mean square. Put that square root in there. Go ahead, try integrating that function. I'll, I'll be here. I'll be waiting. You let me know when you get that. I'll be waiting.